So today, I'm gonna use paint skins on a blended background with gold leaf. And I think I might drip some paints over. That sounds crazy, don't it? Let's see. So after I blended the paint on my canvas, guess what happened? Another canvas fell into it and put this big hole into it. Yeah, let's fix it. So now I'm placing the skin where I want to put it on the canvas, cutting it out. I use the Reynolds freezer wrap to save my skins when I dry them off. And I'm using Mod Podge to glue the skin down to the canvas. Didn't need to use as much as I did. It got kind of heavy handed, but you know, you get the idea. As I'm working to lay the skin flat, I notice because I've used too much of the medium, there's a lot of air bubbles. So I'm working the air bubbles out using a push pin to pop the bubbles and lay it flat. I think this is the best orientation for this piece before I drizzle the paint. That's gonna be an element that I place on here. Just gotta figure out the placement. Well, the soft gel doesn't work well on the um, acrylic lettering that I had there. So instead of using that to lay those down, the um, Mod Podge dimensional gel works better.
Okay, now it's time for the um, dripping of the gold paint. I'm using 24K Deco Arts Metallics. And I'm taking my time and spreading it through the different spots of the art piece. I don't want too much. Just want to accent it to the top. This piece is going to be resin, so it will bring up all of the elements that I've added and it will give a 3D effect. Thank you for joining me today in my Fluid Art Think Tank. I hope this inspires you to create multimedia artwork. I'll leave all of the information in the description below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit like and the notification to be notified of the next video. Thanks, see you later.